Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up D-Link Cover X1860 AX1800 Mesh Wi-Fi system. Now there are two ways to set it up. First is via app and second is via browser. So we will teach you both the methods. First we will start with the app setup. Also you can follow this guide to set up Cover X1861, 1862, 1863 and 1864 as well. Moreover, before we start, make sure you plugged in your D-Link cover into a power source and connect an Ethernet cable from your modem to the LAN port marked as Internet on the back of your D-Link cover. Next, to start with, first download the D-Link Wi-Fi app and if you haven't downloaded it yet, then the download link is also given in the description. Now open the app and tap on install a new device option. Next, you will see two options. First is to scan the QR code or to continue without scanning. So if you click on scan the QR code, then you will find the setup QR code on the match card that came along with this device. So you will need to scan that QR code and then follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Or if you click on continue without scanning, then you will have to select cover on the next screen followed by selecting its model number in the next window. Now click on set up my new network and click on next button showing up on the app multiple times as it will ask you to connect your cover unit with your modem, which we have already done. Next, the app will automatically find and connect to your dealing cover network and then you will need to type its password for verification. You can find the password on the quick install card or at the bottom of the unit. Just in case the app is not connecting to the D-Link cover network, then go to the settings on your phone and then to the Wi-Fi settings. There you will find D-Link hyphen some deserts network name showing up in your Wi-Fi list. So tap on it to connect to it. Once connected, then simply head back to the D-Link app and there it will prompt you to type its password which can be found on the quick install card or at the back of the unit. Next follow the on-screen prompts which will ask you to create an SSID and password. On successful setup it will give you a congratulations page. Now to add mesh nodes plug them into a power source once the device boots up which usually takes two to five minutes then press a WPS button on the main cover unit and within two minutes press a WPS button on the mesh node. Finally if the light on the node changes to solid white then the connection is successful. If in case your node is not connecting to the main dealing cover unit then watch video given in the description to learn how to resolve this. Now let's learn the second method to set up the D-Link Cover X1860 using browser. So in this method too, make sure your D-Link Cover X1860 is plugged in into a power source and you have an ethernet cable connected from the modem's LAN port to the internet port on the back of your Cover router. Next, on your phone or computer, go to the Wi-Fi settings and then in your Wi-Fi list, connect your device to the D-Link Cover Network SSID. It will come up as D-Link hyphen some digits. So tap on it to connect to it. And once it asks for the password, then type the one printed on the quick install card or on the bottom side of the D-Link Cover unit. Once connected, open a browser on the same device. You can use any browser like Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, etc. And on your browser into the address bar, type http colon forward slash forward slash cover dot local or type 192.168.0.1 and hit enter. This will open up the setup page of dealing cover x1860. And on the login window, it will ask you to type the admin password. So just type the word password itself and hit login to continue with the setup then follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup this includes creating an ssid and password for your wi-fi in case you don't see the setup wizard then click on the settings and then tap on wizards and then follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup now to add the new mesh nodes plug them into a power source and wait for it to boot up this usually takes around two to five minutes. Next, press the WPS button on the main D-Link cover unit. 
that we have just now set up. Then within 2 minutes press the WPS button on the satellite unit. If you see a solid white LED on the satellite node then it confirms a successful connection. You can add more nodes with similar steps. Lastly if you found this video useful then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you.